in this today's session. Myself Sambhu from Cloud Tech, and today we are going to learn one interesting topic in AWS in terms of security. Basically, it's a very, very, very important uh, one of the service. Uh, it was to play the role of um, like security, whatever security uh, that is like, you know, it's the most important. Why? Because we need to protect our application, right? So today I will talk about that AWS secret manager and also like in my previous video, right? Uh, we, we was discussing regarding that uh, AWS metadata, right? But the demo, so that also I will cover in this video uh, uh, by using Bash script, okay? So let me show you that. Uh, so first of all, we need to understand what is uh, this AWS Secret Manager, right? So let me explain that first. What is the AWS Secret Manager? Basically, Secret Manager is like uh, we can store our like uh, API key. Suppose you are running on apps, app server, and that app server, if you would like to access from any of the client, right? First, we need to get that API key. So that by using that API key, maybe you can you are good to access that app server, whatever package you would like to access, right? So that API key we can store in that AWS Secret Manager or maybe different kind of credential like username, password, or token. Basically, it's virtual information as a confidential information, right? So that details we can, like those details basically we can store in that Secret Manager, okay? And by using this, uh, we can access this Secret Manager via you know, this AWS console and today we will learn about how we can access the secret manager by using CLI. OK, AWS CLI and this secret manager, uh, we can encrypt also our key, right? In AWS, it's provided that uh, KMS, right? Key management service, right? By using that, we can encrypt also whatever uh, your confidence information you are storing there, right? That we can encrypt also. And also one more thing, right? Um, like it, it will do like uh, suppose if you have one service and that service I want to access, right? What we used to do is to hardcode that uh, the credential, right? But if that credential is present in that uh, secret manager, right? And uh, if that uh, uh, that key, right? Uh, nowadays to uh, protect more, right? So we used to rotate that secret, right? So Dynamically, you have to rotate, right? So, uh, order, whenever time it is rotating, your program, right? If you uh, hard code that to your program, then you, every time you have to change, right? But if if you read from secret manager, right? Dynamically, you can able to read, right? So, this kind of advantage you will get, right? So, so that you no need to set, like, uh, you have to just, uh, you have to program in such a way that you can get that all time that secret dynamically from the secret manager and whatever app server, whatever application you would like to access, right? You can access. So that's what about the secret manager. OK, so let me show you one real time example. Suppose you have stored the API key in the secret manager, OK? And without and you have one app server is running in that. OK, now that API from the client application, right? You want to access that API. If you directly access without giving that API key, right? It won't allow. It will fail that, right? It will fail. So, but if you first hit that, uh, get the API key. Once you get the API key, right? By using that API key, if you like to access that app, right? That package, whatever package you want to access, or maybe the database service, right? Whatever database service you would like to access, right? So you can good to access, right? Now we have the key. So by using that key, you can access. So let me show you the demo part. So you know, I have written in program here. So here I have written on bash script, okay? So this is the function for error handling. And this is the error logs basically you can put. And this is the get secret. Uh, from secret manager using CLI, right? I have already created one key demo uh, underscore key. So let me show you that in that uh, storage. 
So if you go to that uh, secret manager, right? This is the secret manager, basically. Under secret, right? If you check, I have already created one secret. So in the Virginia region, US East one. Okay, here I have created one demo secret. So and then what we need to do? To access that secret, right? First, we need to read the region, right? In my previous video, I was talking about how metadata used to help to get the region, right? So now here, we, first, we have to read the region and then we have to get the instance ID. So instance ID, I, this is like one more demo. Like uh, I want to show you here, like if you would like to read the tag, right? Whatever tag value is there in the particular instance. I have created one instance, instance. Whatever tag value is there, right? So that tag value it will print. It will, we will get that maybe for filter purpose, right? So in my subsequent video, I will show you how this tag value we can use, like it's how it will give the benefit. Right? So basically, that auto scheduling purpose, right? Stop and start. In my uh, subsequent video, I will give you that idea also, like how we can use this tag. And then how we can get the secret. So AWS secret manager get secret value, then secret what ID, then secret name, and what our region, right? Which region you would like to access that uh, secret, right? The region basically we will get from metadata. AWS this 169, 254, 169, 254, right? In my previous video, I have already talked about this uh, EC2 instance metadata. Right? So from there we can get the region. So we can pass the region here. So once we pass here region, right? We are good to get the key. Now, once you got the key, right? In my slide, right? Let me show you here. Once you have the key, right? Now you have the key. Now you have to hit the call command so that you can read whatever you want would like to read from the app server, right? You can read. Once you got that key, right? So this is uh, let me run this thing to Okay, I have already launched one EC2 instance, right? I want to talk about it. So I have already launched one EC2 instance. So let me show you how we can launch EC2 instance and uh, those details, right? I will maybe the tag, all this thing, right? I will maybe in my EC2 deep drive, right? I will talk about more on that. So here, if you see, right, I have created some tag, one and name cloud tag. So that kind of details we can print in that CMA, in that uh, in the script, right? So let me show you that. So I have already copied that code here. Let me show you just a demo secret manager. Same code I have got, I have shown in that um, in that editor, right? Same code I have copied here. So if you see, right? So this I will give you that um, all the links, right? In that um, in the video description, or maybe I will attach this code also in the description so that it will be helpful to you. Okay, so this is the code. So let me just run this since it's a basket, right? Just we need to run it. Demo that is so if you run now, it is printing the region, right? First, it is printing the region, which region we are then instance ID. This is my instance ID, and it's to tag, right? Tag value owner value of the owner, right? That time uh, cloud tag. and then key from the key manager, right? It is reading that key, and then uh, that's it, right? We have read that key, right? So let me show you that tag I have already showed you. So let me show you the secret value here. What I have given. see here right see this is my secret value so if you see here this is the secret value you have we can able to get right? similar fashion by cli command we can create also you can store also secret right or maybe we can check like a uh, what all secret uh, it's available like uh, details of the all the secret right that also you can check right so that basically if you see here right this is the retrieve metadata this link right how we can put the secret, how we can create the secret, right? This is the sample code. If I just run this one, it will create a secret in that particular. So,
Yes, just if you see here, right? It is in the following paper. So, you ask the case of things. Okay, so the secret is not there, right? So the secret name is KG. What is my secret name? So let me do a secret name. This is the secret number. So now it is put right. It has, it has, uh, we can put also, like we can create also secret value. So, but we saw that you just uh, face it. See, so successfully stored the secret in the just to replace. Same way. Same username password. It has store right. So something like that we can do uh, by using that AWS uh, that secret vendor, right? So this is all about AWS Secret Manager. So if you want to create right new secret by console, just you need to type here. Manager. You can get him secret manager. And you can store, right? So hope this session will help to you guys. And if you like this session, please um, Subscribe my channel and please subscribe my channel. And um, if you have any doubt, please put your valuable feedback to that comment section so that in my next video, I will address them. Thanks. Bye.